today i am going to discuss about 10 major job opportunities for a bsc biotech graduate how we can proceed further after your bsc biotech first thing you can do an msc biotech and for the phd if you want because biotech is a um, research oriented subject for get a better job opportunities you need to do an msc i am not uh, sticking on to the msc you will get better jobs after bsc also so i am going to discuss next that the second career option you can take is a job of a quality control officer i think lot of courses are there in order to make you fit for a quality control officer hhccp courses of different levels are available if you can do um, a course more than the level of 3 you can uh, get a good quality control jobs May, uh, mainly in india as well as in uh, mainly middle east countries you can get a better jobs with a better salary so it's a good job opportunity if you can do an hsccp uh, level more than 3 you can get a better quality control officer job it's one of the best opportunity after bsc biotech the second opportunity is all bscs of uh, uh, all public service commissions of uh, all states are conducting examination for food safety officers the food safety officer job is a um, opportunity for a bsc biotech student you can directly get a government job after the bsc biotech is food safety officer you need only the preparation for a 6 months in order to study some food technology things so that you can easily clear the examination you will get a government job uh, just after your bsc the third job after bsc is you can become an ivf technician in vitro fertilization technic uh, um, technician in hospitals for that you need to do some extra training if you can join some ivf technician courses it's maybe it may be about 6 uh, months or 1 year and if you can um, uh, continue with some training in different hospitals in in 5 5 years you can establish as a ivf technician it is a better opportunity you are uh, after your training you will be skilled with the technique you can uh, leave with the technique um, uh, Uh, for them so if you are an expert ivf technician you a uh, lot of job opportunities are awaiting you in all parts of the world so you will get a better salary also you you need a struggle of um, i think to do 5 uh, years to establish yourself as a ivf technician next opportunity is a medical coding medical coding um it will not completely come in biotech but it is um, somewhat biotech um, graduate can do the medical coding you will get a, a better salary after 2 to 3 years of experience it's perfectly um, yeah, um, uh, what um, yeah, in silico type of work so it is very uh, comfortable also to the people interested in work like that so next job is you can join uh, medical labs such as uh, microbiology biochemistry labs um, if you can get a training in the small small labs microbiology or biochemistry labs you can enter in hospitals in their medical labs and uh, and if you can bring up experience i, I will um, uh, say here also 2 to 3 years of experience you can uh, enter big hospitals and in good money and uh, seventh one is uh, we can enter the sales part of the it's it may not be the uh, same medical sales representative it can be technical sales representative also in case of uh, 
chemicals of uh, biotech related chemicals um, instrumentation uh, repairing uh, checking etc like a technical um, uh, sales officer or uh, um, something made a sales related to biotech you can uh, get a job easily after your uh, graduation the eighth one is you can enter a government laboratory as a technical assistant the technical assistant uh, from uh, us entering as a technical assistant you can improve your skills in operating different different instruments as you become expertise in different different instruments you can continue your efforts in different different private companies because private companies need the technicians if you enter a uh, government uh, institution as a temporary technical assistant you can increase your knowledge in a particular instrument and become a expertise in a particular instrument and from with that expertise you can enter private companies which need your expertise so a technical assistant job can help you in um, getting better good jobs in private companies private biotech companies so next is you can enter as a project assistant if you need to um, uh, do research you can enter as a project assistant in uh, research labs project assistant one is reserved for the bsc biotech students so you can enter the as a project assistant thereby increase your skills in uh, research and thereby uh, further follow your research career and at last i am going to say uh, one other option is usually now uh, the b uh, biotech is a qualification for uh, doing bed in most of the states Uh, so you can do a beard and enter uh, in school teaching it's a better opportunity and uh, also biotech is there in the syllabus of uh, cbse schools uh, cbse plus 1 plus 2 so you can enter the school teaching it's a better opportunity to you that at least uh, as well as navodaya they are also preferring the people with uh, with uh, beard so a uh, lot of opportunities are there in school teaching sector so these are about the 10 opportunities which you can proceed after bsc biotech no need to do a msc biotech for all these courses i have often seen people doing msc biotech after that pursuing these um, jobs in msc biotech you need to invest two years and after doing bsc biotech and entering these jobs you will get two years of experience so that you are uh, you can establish more easily in these jobs I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubts if you see more job opportunities you can comment if you have any doubts you can comment below so have a nice day